What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS3 tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to install PS3 games, DLC and updates to your jailbroken PS3 to the internal hard drive. In the next episode we'll be looking at how to install your games to an external hard drive in FAT32 and NTFS format. But for this video uh, we're starting with installing games to the internal hard drive of the PS3. So in the previous episodes we looked at how to jailbreak the PS3 and how to install web man and multi-man so that you can be set up to actually mount your games and uh, transfer the, your games via FTP. So if you haven't followed uh, the previous two episodes, check the playlist link in the description which takes you to all the previous episodes so you can watch through them up to this point. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to need a game. So I've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2 downloaded here for the PS3. When you download a game, they'll typically come in parts so they'll come as either a zip file or a rar file or a 7 zip file and um, but there'll be multiple files so there'll be part one part two part three part four part five potentially um and then all you want to do is make sure all the parts are in the same folder on your computer in the same directory and then you can just right click on part one make sure you have winrar installed of course so you can extract them and then just click the button to extract files so then you just want to select a directory to save the extracted ISO to, click OK and it will start extracting the ISO into that folder. Once it gets done doing part one, you don't have to do part two, it will do part two automatically as long as, like I said, they're in the same folder, then it will go through and it will extract each part until it's extracted the entire game. And once you have the game extracted, it will be in two different formats, technically three. You might have the game as a .iso file, or you might have the game in a folder where it's just the extracted game files uh, in a folder. Um, or you might have the game, just like these DLCs, you might have the game as a package file or multiple package files. So those are the three different formats you'll find games in. There will either be package files, they'll either be an ISO file, or they'll be the extracted game files. Now personally, I think the best format to have your games in is the extracted game files, where you just have... Uh, a folder with all the extracted game files inside because it makes it easier to modify the game files if you ever want to install some kind of mod that modifies one or more of the game files then you have easy access to them with the extracted version now if you have it as an iso you can turn it into the extracted files by uh, making sure that you can open it in winrar so if you right click um, and go to open with and select winrar archiver or choose another app and select winrar and then you'll be able to open it in WinRAR. And if you open it up in WinRAR, you can see that it's just the same extracted files that you have in here. So if you have the game as an ISO and you want to turn it into the extracted files, just create a folder with the name of the game, an empty folder, and then extract the game files into that folder. And then you'll have it just like this. So for installing the game, if we're gonna install it directly to the PS3's hard drive, then you're going to want to use FTP because in the previous episode we set up Webman. We have an FTP server just running in the background. All you have to do on the PS3 is head to system settings and go to system information. Check that you have a valid IP address and that you're connected to the internet. You don't have to be connected to PSN. You can be on an offline account. You just have to be connected to your local area network. Um, so as you can see, I have a valid IP address here, 192.168.137.225. So what I can do is I can open up an FTP client. So if you download an FTP client like WinSCP or FileZilla and install it. And then if we open up FileZilla, we can enter the IP address of your PS3 in the host box and put 21 as the port number and then connect. And that will connect you to your PS3's uh, hard drive. So from here, you can go to dev underscore HDD zero, which is the main partition on the PS3's hard drive. If you're installing the game as an ISO file, so if you're wanting to install the game as an ISO file, then go down to the PS3 ISO folder and just drag and drop the ISO on top of that folder. And as you can see, it starts copying the file over directly to the hard drive. 
So if you go into the PS3 ISO folder, there you go, you can see the ISO is being copied over. So that's one way of installing the game. The other way, if you have the game as the extracted form, so it's just the game files inside a folder, then you want to put them in a different location. You want to put them in the games folder in uppercase. So you want to put the folder in there. So just drag the folder into the games folder and it will start copying the game over. And there we go, the game is now installed right there. Now if I go back onto the PS3 here and I go to Multiman and here we are as you can see in the game section on Multiman I now have two versions of the game because I installed the extracted version which is this one here that just has the game controller icon and the HDD icon and then this one also has an ISO icon meaning it's the ISO file version. And what's cool is you can convert uh, each format into the other format so uh, if you have the ISO version installed on the hard drive and you want to convert it to the extracted version you just press triangle and select the extract ISO option and that will create a copy of it uh, in, in the extracted form and vice versa if you take the extracted version and you press triangle you can uh, create ISO and that will create a copy of the game in the ISO format so you can uh, create copies in the different formats as well which is pretty useful and then if you want to run the game of course, you can just mount it by selecting X. So you can now launch the game from here, which is the, the mounted version, it's right here. Or you can go to the app underscore home slash PS3 underscore game and uh, launch it from there as well. So you can launch the game from either way and that's launching it with Multiman. Now Webman is quicker and easier. We can just go straight into Webman Games, PlayStation 3, and then our games show up in here. So if you want to mount the game, you just select it with X and that mounts the game and then it will just automatically load the game straight away. Now you'll also get prompted to do a system update from Sony servers, the latest game update. Uh, you can do this update, there's nothing wrong with doing it from Sony servers even though you might be worried about getting banned or something like that but as long as you're not connecting to PSN you'll be fine, you can be on an offline account, you can even be console banned and you'll still be able to uh, download game updates from PSN, so that's no problem. So if you are connected to the internet, then you can of course download the update right here, just click OK and it'll start downloading the update, and once the update's finished it'll load the game um, and you'll have the latest update installed. I'm not going to do the update just because I want to show you how to install the update manually as well in case you're offline. But there you go, you can see the game is running, but we are on the base version of the game and we've got no DLC installed right now. So let's go ahead and exit out of the game here. So the DLC comes as package files, so do the updates, and sometimes you might even download the game and it'll come as a package file or multiple package files. So for package files, um, if you head into dev slash hdd0 again, where the games folder is, we're going to go into the packages folder and copy them in here. So I've got the update, uh, the 1.19 update that I could have downloaded from PSN, but I have the uh, offline version here as a package file. So I'm just going to copy that into the directory right here. And then I've also got all the DLC, which is all package files too. So I'm going to copy them all also into the packages directory. Okay, so now that I have the update and all the DLC copied over here, if I go back on to the PS3 and we go to the package manager, install package files and select uh, install from dev hdd0 packages, so system storage, you'll see they're all in here. So I can just select one, well it doesn't really matter which order we do them in, but we just install them each one by one. So just select each package file and install them. If you've downloaded the game as a package file as well, then just you know, install each part one by one if it's in multiple parts. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and installed all of the DLC now. So then we'll install the game update as well. So this one here, 1.19. Again, I could have just installed it via Sony servers. And then we can go to Webman Games. Webman, wait, is it still mounted? No, it's not. Okay, so Webman Games, PlayStation 3. And then I'll just, you know, either one will work. The DLC will be applied to both. And there we go, it loads up Black Ops 2. Okay, getting into multiplayer here, you can see the version number 45.0.1 in the top right. So that's the latest update. Uh, the base version I think is 7.0.1, so that shows that we do have the latest update installed. 
So if we head to local, go to set up game, change map, we now have a DLC option. And there it is, every single DLC installed right there, all the maps. So there we go, that is installing DLC and updates as well. Okay, so that's how you install games, DLC and updates to your jailbroken PS3 to the internal hard drive. So stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be how to install games to an external hard drive and run them off the external hard drive. Uh, even if it's in NTFS or FAT32 format, we're going to be covering both in the next video, which should only be out in, you know, two or three days. Uh, I know I've been putting these videos out like weekly, but that should, uh, the pace should increase. So get these videos out faster so you don't have to wait a week for the next episode. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and check the playlist link in the description for all the episodes in the series so far. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.